Hello, my name is Bill Haley, and this is part of my three-minute introduction series to Haley 2024, the movement's um, government reform ideas. So this one's going to be on the military authorization agencies. This is a checks and balance sector. This one is to make sure everything is going well. When, when we go to a private military, we need extra checks and balances. Actually, actually, there are so many more checks and balances within this system that I have set up that compared to the current system. So let's go through it real quick. All government power is separated into 30 sec sectors, city, state, and federal. The federal level will have five primary, uh, will have authority at five sectors, the foreign protection system. They will have a separate elected representative oversight per sector. So you have the diplomats on one sector with a top leader. You have the commander in chief with a top leader, totally representative elected leadership. Military corporations will have all the military capabilities. Their product is military capabilities to America, commanded by the commander in chief, authorized by the diplomats declaring war. The military capability system is to um, a funding mechanism. That's a full nother video. You can look at that. Uh, but we're talking about authorizing military personnel to make sure they are well trained, they are well patriotic, they are pro-America. We do not have um, major problems with these people by either training or dual loyalship, I mean loyalty to another country or whatever. Um, these people will be doing a tremendous amount of um, inspection and oversight into everything that's going on. This is a representative sector where um, all the 12 different CRAs, you need to know what those are, it's on a different video, it's very easy to find on my website. But they send representatives up and then they authorize. And it takes a 70% vote to authorize somebody to have military power and, and use the weapons of military, um, of the military. So this is a societal oversight role. Uh, to make sure nobody's going out of control. They have the power to command and enforce the deauthorization. So if they pull authorization because somebody's corrupt or they see somebody going in the wrong way, they can pull that authorization away from somebody. They have that full power. Um, so it's a 70% to give that power, but only a 40% vote to take away that power. So they, we, we need to keep our military at a high level. And they authorize people in all 10 sectors. Well, it's five sectors, two representative bodies per sector. You need to look at the rating system for this as well. And they authorize um, the weapon systems as well. This is just a three minute video on this. It's a, it's a um, good system. And hopefully I'll have another longer video out there talking more about this one subject. So keep on looking around at other videos and on my website. Thanks.